good crowd out here in Philadelphia as we continue to work our way through day two, round two of the NFL draft. We have had quite the run on defensive backs, corners, and safeties in these first two rounds. Of course, that was one of the positions that was by far the deepest in this draft, and it continues in this second round. The Raiders went with Gary and Conway, the cornerback out of Ohio State, in the first round. They are up again, and let's find out where the commissioner is going to tell us the Raiders are going with this one. To announce the Oakland Raiders selection, please welcome, from Grambling State University, 1984 Hall of Fame inductee, Quarterback, Willie Brown. Well, okay. Congratulations for being here. Let me get a couple of things out of the way. One, Ben, happy Mother's Day coming up in a couple of weeks, guys. So go shopping for your mom, okay? My mom, she'll be 100. And, listen, oh, whoosh. My mom will be 103 in October. Her. And uh, Mrs. Al Davis, I'm going to tell you how I so don't worry about how I age. Okay? Here we go. With this 56 pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> we select Obi Melifonwu, defensive back, Connecticut. Well, first and foremost, happy future birthday to Willie Brown's mother. And Obi Mellon Fondu again continues what is now a record setting pace for defensive backs. He is the 17th defensive back taken in the first two rounds. That is now by far the most time we've seen in the common draft era. Uh, really surprised that story time trade didn't start with this. He was born in London. Henry William Obi Mellon Fondu. All right, and then, moved, and, then, and then moved to Massachusetts. Four year starter for UConn. So he's a durable, physical freak. I said that because he's 6'4", 224 pounds with 4'4 four, four speed. I thought he got more physical as his, as his career progressed with UConn. He's got great range. He's all over the field. And I know, Lewis, you don't necessarily love him. Think he has some areas of improvement. But I think in this scheme, it's a perfect fit when you think about their big corners. Some teams think he can play corner. Some think he's a free safety. My guess is, on the outside looking in, that Oakland's going to give a shot at cornerback before safety, but we'll see when it's all said and done. Yeah, you know what? I've heard the same thing, that this is a guy who could possibly be a good press corner because of the fact that he doesn't necessarily possess ideal physicality when, he, when he's playing at safety. And you know what? It, that's one of the things that really just bothered me with him is the fact that, look, he, look, he is beautiful as far as an athlete is, is concerned, but for a guy with his speed and his size, you should be laying people like that out. That guy should not run through contact on you like that. You should be absolutely crushing guys like this. And when the receiver comes to crack on you, you can't be the one who's being knocked back on your heel. you got to send wide receivers messages. This is a guy who right now, look, he's going to a place where he's going to be playing with a guy in the secondary who pound for pound, I believe, is one of the toughest guys in the NFL in Carl Joseph. You need to get around him and kind of get with that kind of mentality. Because if you can play with that kind of mentality, with those physical skills, you'll be unstoppable. That's the only thing I'm saying. You should be unstoppable with your physical dimensions. Well, you got Carl Joseph there to teach him how to throw that, and you saw what he did at the combine. He literally jumped out of Lucas Oil for sure. some of the numbers he put up. It was unreal. All right, next pick.